Hello, and in this video we're going to be using Onshape to create ISO number 20. Uh, to do this, we'll make the overall cube. Uh, then we'll use subtractive techniques to take out uh, this uh, curved portion and then uh, cut out this uh, rectangular portion we see as well. Uh, so first I'm going to go to Onshape. I've already got a new doc started. and We've named it ISO 20, so I'll start with a sketch on the front plane. If we look back at our object, we can count. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 long uh, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tall. Uh, so we'll make that rectangle to get started. So we'll hit the rectangle tool, start on the origin, click for it. As we said, 8 long, enter, and 6 tall, enter. I hit the green check to accept. I'll change it to my front home view, my ISO home view, and extrude it. Click on the object out a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so change that depth to 5. And enter. Hit the green check. And next, I want to make a sketch. Uh, we'll use a sketch a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4 is my radius. So a diameter of 8. We'll make that circle on the side and just extrude it straight out. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to hit sketch. I'm just going on this front side here. And we'll turn to the right as well. I'm going to zoom out just so it's a little easier to see our circle. I'm going to click right on that corner. If I can get on the corner to show up, we'll click right on that corner. And then I'm going to click and type in a value of 8 and enter. I hit the green check to accept. I'll change back to my home ISO view. And we'll extrude, remove. Now click on that blue portion of my circle. Uh, we want to cut through all, so I'm going to change what it says blind to through all. Hit the green check to accept. Uh, so now we're left with this uh, rectangular cutout. You can see it goes down a distance of one, two, three, and it's in the middle. We have two on each side, so it's going to be a distance of four across. Uh, so if we go back to our shape, I'm going to turn to the back side to sketch on because I want a flat surface to sketch on. So I'm going to hit sketch, click on the back and make sure I'm on my back view. So now that we're on this back view, we're going to select our rectangle tool. Uh, so in our sketch, we select our rectangle tool, and we're going to start from anywhere on that top line. I'm going to go and make my rectangle. I'm going to go over a distance of 4, hit Enter, and down a distance of 3, and hit Enter. Uh, then I need a dimension, so I'm just going to do the right-hand side of my rectangle to the outer edge and we'll set that value to 2 as well. Uh, that gives us our rectangle. You can see it's all black or fully constrained. We'll hit our green check to accept and then I'm going to rotate my view so you can see a little better. I'm going to hit extrude, change it to remove, click inside that circle and change my blind to through all. Uh, that should cut us out through everything and give us our final ISO 20. Hopefully this helps. Uh, congratulations on completing your ISOs. Uh, good luck.